Hello and welcome to Scientific Lead 2. Today we are revisiting the edge of a magnet on the inertia line. That is a 1 inch by 1 eighth magnet submersed in water. As you just saw, there's barely a millimetre of water on there. Um, the point of this video is to show that at the inertia line, the north and the south field meet and they entwine together and they push out sideways from the inertia line and this creates a flower. Now I'm just going to uh, fast forward the video because we have the flower there already um, but I want to get it to where it's like a lotus so I'm just going to fast forward the video because basically all I'm doing is adding more water just a few drops at a time so let's fast forward a bit. Okay, so I've stuck the video on four times the speed. So basically all I'm doing to this water is adding more water, a few drops at a time. We are halfway through the speed up. So I'm taking you to the point where the magnetic field meets at the inertia line and it will form a sphere depending on uh, what height of water you place there. So we're just coming up now, here's the normal speed and as you can see magnetism has formed a sphere on the water of the magnet. So as you can see just a 1 by 1 8 magnet, it's about 1 to 2 millimeters underwater and a flower forms and then a sphere forms and this again goes along with the electric universe theory of how our planet was created and the fact that we are caught in the grip of a Birkeland current and that is what makes all planets round is this magnetism. It also comes down to uh, many religions use flowers as their symbol. The symbol of God, the symbol of Jesus is a lily now I've said that electricity and electromagnetism, that our God, the creator of the universe, is an electromagnetic being. He is an energy being. He is life, as it states in the Bible. And the flower for Jesus is the lily, which is pretty much what we're looking at on screen. Well, we were a few minutes ago. I've just added a bit more water here, so <laughs> it's uh, kind of disappeared now. So you put too much water on and the field, because it's not massively strong, fails to move the water. But at the correct height a sphere appears and becomes the shape of a flower because all life is an electromagnetic reproduction of a magnetic field and that is why the invisible sign of God is a flower and that is found on every magnet and every single atom in the universe because all atoms are electromagnetic which means they have a magnetic field and all magnetic fields look like a lily and there are many religions in the world if you want to discern whether or not it's a true religion or a man-made religion then all you have to do is to see if it has a flower as part of its religion if its deity is named for a flower in in some cases this is because God is an energy being and so is electricity and electromagnetism. His universal picture of peace and love is a flower. Everything is an expression of a magnetic field through a DNA code. So if your religion doesn't have a flower or use flowers as symbols of knowledge and love and peace and deity, you don't have a real religion because men didn't know about electromagnetic fields, that this is the invisible signature of God and how the universe is created. I mean, there's our little solar system right there with the sun in the middle. So, if your religion doesn't have a flower, you don't have a god. I'll be doing a fuller video on that very soon. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ. And I show you all the things that he showed me. Thanks a lot. Bye.